hard. All right, guys. This may be my last and final review. I just want you to know it's been a pleasure reviewing bikes for you. Oh, what was that? Oh, it was pine needles. Hit me in the face. All right, let's see. Let's get back to, we'll get away from the life and death stuff. We'll head back to the bike review. Welcome back to another innovation review, folks. Today we are here checking out the Malibu Mini GT. And you're probably asking yourself, why is it GT? Why is it Mini? And we'll get into that today. First off, the reason it's GT is it has all of the GT things, minus one feature, uh, that the rest of the Elux bikes have. So we got a 750 watt motor here in the rear. We've got our Suntour NCX suspension seat post, and we have got a couple of different things. So on most of the GT models, they come with a 20, 21 amp hour battery, and this one comes with a 14.5. You, the frame still supports being able to put the, the 21 amp hour battery in there as well. That is an option. And the brakes are a little bit different. So the brakes here are our Tektro Ariga brakes instead of the Tektro Dorados. So just something to note here about sort of some of the differences between this GT version and the regular GT versions. It's not just a Malibu GT with smaller tires on it. And that takes us into the mini part. These tires are 24 inch tires instead of 26 inch tires so it brings the whole frame down quite a bit and we'll talk about that step over height later when we get to the geometry but for the most part it is uh, it's very small very compact which is just pretty nice for a lot of people who are on the shorter side they're looking for a, a cruiser bike that they can hop on now this one does have the seat post suspension this would be something where if you really are on the the shorter shorter side and you really need to bring this down you could swap this out with a traditional seat post and you can get another three and a half four inches shorter here so it really is a pretty small platform uh, with a really nice step over again it's got all that pedal forward geometry on this bike i feel like you can really see it i don't know if it's just the white and the black contrast but you can see where you're sitting over here look at that angle to where the pedals are so that pedal i mean that's the front pedal is kind of in its furthest extension forward that's not 45 degrees, but that, that is close. So it's very comfortable, very easy. And the reason that pedal forward geometry is so nice is it's, an, it's easy on your knees. So your knees don't have to come up as far. And so if somebody's got knee problems, lower back problems, this is a pretty, pretty cool thing here. Now, we kind of dove into talking about the overview of the bike, and we will jump into the specs. But first, I wanted to touch on elux as a company so they offer a five-year warranty which is pretty crazy i think the standard right now is about two years so they're you know two and a half times what the industry standard is they come with a lot of really really solid parts and so i think they were like hey if we just build a better bike we can have a longer warranty and that's what they did and so that's something i really like you know i've talked with uh, jp who's the the ceo over there and they are all about customer support, making sure everybody's having a good time riding, and that's sort of their, their philosophy. They want to keep you riding for a long time. So I uh, really dig, you know, what they got going on over there. So that is uh, pretty sweet. Morning. Doing some jamming. Where was I? Well, wherever I was. Here we go. Let's dive into the specs here. So the biggest and most important spec in my opinion, is going to be our motor here in the back. This is a 750 watt DAPU, peaks at 1375 watts, feels like it's got a lot of get up and go. And uh, these DAPU motors, again, my, my main experience has been on these Eluxes. This is the eighth or ninth video we've done recently, so I've gotten to know their lineup really well. I really like these motors. They are, they are pretty quiet um, when compared with, you know, similar Bafongs or some of the other ones that we see around here. So it's pretty quiet. It's got some good torque to it. Now, a lot of the torque kind of comes down to, you know, the controller, how that's programmed, etc. But it is nice that we have it here. The, uh, you know, the ability to sort of have that torque. And, um, yeah, I'm just enjoying them so far. So, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying them. And also on the GTs, generally for the for the Elex brands, GT is a 750. And then the regular non-GT models are the 500-watt the motors. So the 750, 
after testing them all, the 750 is probably my favorite, uh, but I like to go fast. And like we talked about in all these Elux reviews, if you haven't seen any, I'll go over it again. In the display, they have the ability for us to be able to change what ride mode we're in. So there's power, normal, and eco. So in power mode, you get all that torque, you get all that get up and go. But for some people, especially on this bike specifically, like you might not be looking for that. So all you have to do, it's very easy to go in there and adjust it, is put it into eco mode and it changes the the torque curve on this whole thing so instead of being like you know it's going up and getting ready to go it's sort of this nice gradual climb in the power so it makes it a lot more a lot more controllable a little bit more docile and so there are some people i think who would really like that so that's the motor the next thing to talk about is the battery so the battery we have here is our 14.5 amp hour battery now again this is different than the other GTs, all the other GTs come with that 21 amp hour battery stock. Morning. But you do have the ability to put the 20 amp hour on here. The frame still supports it. It's basically the same frame as the Malibu GT, but the Mini just has those 24 inch tires, brings everything down to the, to the ground a little bit. So frame still supports that. Um, and also like the price tag, right? So all the other GT models are $26.95 at the time of this recording. Right now, at the time of this recording, I believe the Malibu Mini GT is $22.95. So it is about $400 cheaper, if I did that quick math correctly. So there are some things you'd expect to be less, right? Because I mean, swapping out, it's not gonna cost you $400 extra to get 26 inch tires, right? That's, that's, that's not, that's not the, uh, the $400 price increase. So the choices they made were the 14.5 amp hour battery coming stock and then our Tektro Ariga Ecomp brakes, which are great brakes, but compared to the GT ones, those Dorados, the Dorados are four piston brakes. These are two piston brakes. Um, so, I mean, if you're comparing just those two together, like the Dorados win, because they've, you know, they got more pistons in it. But these ones compared to the industry and what comes on most bikes these days, these are way better. Um, the the Tektro Arigas are, are nice. I like, I like the hand feel. Everything about them is nice. They got our motor cutoff cable here, so when you are, you know, squeezing this down, and it's not—you don't even have to get to the point where you're actually stopping the bike. Just a little bit of squeezing here will cut off power to the motor. So it's nice that you have that safety feature there. So people ask sometimes, like, well, why does that matter? It's like, well, if you were going with your throttle, but you're also trying to brake, and let's say your throttle got stuck or something that was going. If you were just fighting this, you'd be braking, but you'd be fighting the motor because the motor's still trying to go. But because we've got these cutoff cables here, then it cuts off the motor. You don't got to fight it. So these are pretty nice. Again, one of those price point things of like decreasing the price. The $22.95 instead of $26.95 would be the brakes and the battery. And those are the two main things. Other than that, as we go through it, you're going to see there's a lot of similarities between the Malibu Mini GT and the you know the traditional Malibu GT Malibu and, and stuff like that so I guess staying on with the brakes down here in the front we've got Elex's uh, I'm gonna call it like a trademark but it's, all the bikes have a 203 millimeter rotor in the front which is really nice more braking area so this is a better braking bike because of it and then in the rear we've got our 180 so 180 in the back 203 in the front kind of a mullet setup I guess in the in the braking world and Elex does that on all the bikes that I've tested so far. So there might be one. I haven't done the Sierra GT yet, but as we get into that one, we'll see. We'll see what that brake setup is. I would bet that it is going to be the same, but I guess we'll see. Suspension-wise, we have got this Vaxa. Never heard of that brand before, but the suspension does work pretty good. Um, we do have preload adjustment. No lockout or anything on this side, but we do have a little bit of preload here. And this does a lot for for your wrists, right? You're riding around a lot and you're kind of getting, you know, you know, wrists, they go up and down and stuff. So having some suspension here is nice. And then in the rear, we've got our Suntour NCX suspension seat post. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you know that I'm a big fan of these and it can really change the ride feel for, for any bike. So it's cool that we see this on here. Again, that's a very GT thing. A lot of the GTs or all the GTs come with the Suntour suspension seat post instead of I believe there's a straight seat post suspension on the Tahoes and then no seat post suspension on the Malibus, like the non-GT versions. So very cool to see this here and they're, you know, they're sticking with that. And we've also got the, the Surface, this big EJL seat. It's, uh, you know, it's about 10 inches wide. It's got this memory foam in it. 
and honestly depending on you know your sit bones it is very comfortable to sit on so nice to see some of these like comfort upgrades the other thing is the grips here with these double double locking ergonomic grips and one of the reasons i'm really liking these ergonomic grips especially for this style where we've got this you know swept back beach cruiser style is when you when you have your hands let me just sit on the bike real quick so when you have your hands on here it's very easy to keep them straight and you have like this support right underneath the palm of your hand so you're gripping it more like a golf club right instead of because you're not, you're not doing this because that would bend your bend your wrist so you're kind of more like this but this is giving you a lot of it's just it's very ergonomic you know I see a lot of people who use ergonomic grips on straight bars I think that still makes sense in some cases but right here it just is perfect for my hands my hands are in a nice straight pretty much straight line here so I'm not gonna have any like wrist fatigue or anything so that's nice so from a comfort standpoint the fact that we've got suspension in the front suspension in the rear that pedal forward geometry nice big saddle over here ergonomic grips everything about this is just easy and fun to ride which is nice you, know, you get on some bikes you're like oh, I don't really see who this is for anybody could pop on this and enjoy this bike and I think that's what's really cool about having the mini version is it does make it more accessible to more people who are on you know the shorter side of things I'm you know I'm right in the middle of the pack so I could pretty much ride on anything and if I was gonna get a bike long term this is probably a little too small for me I would probably go with you know the uh, the traditional Malibu GT if I was gonna go the Malibu route but I do really like the 24 inch tires they also have a little bit more mobility to them and mobility is not the right word i'm looking for i'm looking for maneuverability that's the m word i was looking for because they're 24 inches it's just a little bit you can do a little bit more carving and we'll demonstrate that a little bit more on the ride test as a spoiler uh it handles really well which is which is nice so i feel like i got some really really good control on it and again as somebody who's hopping on this bike and you know they need they're a little bit on the shorter side maybe bikes are a little bit too tall and they're kind of used to being out of control it feels like you got a lot of control over here and again super easy step through and this is a much shorter platform than the malibu gt the next thing to talk about is our shimano altus derailleur here in the rear now this is an altus but it's the upgraded altus it looks it looks nicer it looks more sleek uh handled really well again with all of these elux bikes they come like 95 percent assembled all you do is basically put the the stem on up in the front and the pedals and this little guy whoops and then you, you can, uh, yeah, look, see, you just pop this on, it's super easy. Demonstrate it right now, because I undid it. Kaboom. There we go. Look at that, turn that malfunction into a teaching moment. So, Shimano Altus back here. I was saying all that to say, out of the box, we didn't have to do any adjustments. A lot of times you get these bikes, they've been, you know, bumped around, and uh, things need to be tweaked, right? Usually the brake calipers need to be adjusted and you know your your barrel adjustment down here like usually there's some adjustments you need to make on bikes when you get them delivered to you but this one right out of the box i uh, didn't have to do any adjustments which is nice so if you're somebody's like i don't want to have to go through all that stuff on all the bikes that i've gotten and this is again eighth or ninth review i've kind of lost lost track at this point all of them i didn't have to do any adjustments with up here in the front we've got our shimano Altus rapid fire trigger shifter here um, nine speeds which is great and again this is this is the upgrade from the GT or I'm sorry the upgrade from the traditional Malibu is uh, it had a I think it was a Sunrunner nine speed and so this one's got you know name brand Shimano Altus now the Sunrunner was fine but the Shimano Altus is uh, a little bit better you just like to see Shimano on stuff you know those, those larger name brands so again Shifts through all the gears, really easy. I'm glad they went with trigger shifters on this side. And then because we've got trigger shifters on this side, our throttle is going to be on this side. So there's our throttle over here and our keypad. And now we can get into the controls before we go do the ride test. I'm just going to sit on the bike again because it's comfy. So to turn the bike on, we're going to press and hold the power button here. Can't hold it too long. There we go. So, right here, you see we've got our our BMS on this side. We are running a little low on juice, so we'll see how that uh, perfects our or affects our performance here. 
We've got our mode over here, power, normal, and eco. Right now it's an eco. Uh, it's gonna show us our miles per hour, even if pedal assist isn't on, as we start to go, like it's still gonna tell us our speed, which is fun. Pedal assist down here, pedal assist down here. And then we've got our info tab, which we can use the power button to sort through. I'm sorry, the, uh, the set button to sort through. So time, trip one, trip two, all that stuff. And then for turn on the lights, press the power button, and that's also gonna brighten the the screen, which maybe might not make sense, depending on when you're riding, because you might want the screen to be dimmer. We'll have to check that out. So up in the front, we got our light. Decently bright, not too crazy, but it works pretty well. And then in the rear, we've got our brake light integration, so as we brake, it's gonna flash, letting people know we're coming to a stop. So that's pretty nice. Now getting back in here, we're talking about setting the power level. So you, all you do is press and hold set, and it pops up set zero. There's more stuff you can change, but the first set menu is gonna be this. And you just use our plus button over here to go into normal, to go into power, and go back down to eco, hold set to get out of this menu, and then boom, we're ready for the ride test. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, we are out here for the ride test. Make sure I got a good view for you here. Now I got the saddle down a little bit low so I can get this angle. Uh, so this is not exactly perfect pedal geometry for me, but I do it for the review. So now, one of the things we have seen on the Elex bikes is that in pedal assist level zero, we got the, the bike turned on over here, the throttle is gonna work. So the throttle is working even in zero and it will go up to our top speed. Now I do enjoy having the throttle being able to you know go to top speed with the throttle in any level of pedal assist however i think for uh for safety it would be nice if uh, it didn't work in zero that way if you know somebody new is hopping on your bike you want to show them the bike you're like hey look at check out my cool bike they don't hit the throttle in accident and they're not used to it so just something to think about making sure you let people know like even in zero the throttle is still going to work and we're cruising just cruising over here so now we are in eco mode. Go ahead and do a brake test here real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah, these these Arriga brakes are just uh, are just handy. Let's do some pedaling. We're in pedal assist level one. Go ahead and do some pedaling. Now again, in eco mode, it's it's easy breezy mode, right? So it's gonna get us up to about seven, eight miles an hour. Just pedaling super, super easy. Two, get a little bit more pep. <coughs> Gets us up to about 10 miles per hour. And then three, gonna get us up to about that 14 miles an hour. Four. And again, shifting through all these gears, flawless. Uh, the, the Shimano Altus pairing here works really, really well. Let's do five. And again, we're in eco mode, so nothing's super torquey. It's just like, just nice, nice and easy getting up to those top speeds for our pedal assist levels here. Cut ruzin. So again, if you're somebody who's just looking for, you know, a nice, clean, easy cruise, putting it in eco mode is great. Plus you get an extra 25 to 30 percent, 25 to 30 percent or some percentage. You get, a, you get a higher percentage. You know, it's going to use your battery a little bit better. So go ahead and do another brake test over here and put it into power mode and I'll show you the difference. So again, we're going to hold set over here. We're gonna go into power mode, hold set again. And now we got the juice. And you can tell you can tell a difference with the, the way that it picks up speed. Now the other thing to know too is like we are low on battery. I thought I had three bars. I had two, now we're down to one. So we'll probably be able to get a, a higher top speed when our battery's fully charged. We're running about 43 volts right now. And when this thing's fully charged, it's anywhere between like 51 to 52-ish. We are cruising, cruising into a storm, it looks like. Let's 
Sounds fun. Now one thing I would probably change is I'm riding around a little bit more. The throttle is on this side of the brakes. And because of how your hands are, like I, I can hit the, the pivot point here. So I would probably swap those around. So are my throttles right here. So I don't, I'm gonna use that a little bit more than the brakes probably. But also, then when I go to reach for the brakes, I can, I can still get all my fingers that I need to on it. Because now I'm having to reach over and, and hit right there. So that's just, I mean, that's a pretty simple thing to do. Really all you do is loosen a little bolt in here, pop these out, these two bolts here on the, the brake, swap them, pop it back, boom, and you'd be, uh, you'd be good to go. Now this particular section's got a lot of bumps on it, and you know I can tell I'm going over bumps, but the seat post suspension, which I could probably, you can you can adjust the tension in there. I I probably could have tightened that up a little bit because I'm not bottoming it out per se, but it's getting it's getting low. So I probably would put a little bit more tension in there for me. But it's very comfortable, very very comfortable. Oh, there's the wind. And actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's do a little uh, let's do a little turnaround here because that whole storm is coming my way, and uh, it's a little too early in the morning to get drenched. So well, let's turn around. <clears throat> we're riding. We're testing. Uh, we're also trying to stay dry. So let's do that. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the news recently, but. Uh, Houston's been having some real freak wind tornado action. No, oh, this wind's picking up. Oh, Lord. All right, guys. This may be my last and final review. I just want you to know it's been a pleasure reviewing bikes for you. Oh, what was that? Oh, it was pine needles. Hit me in the face. All right, let's see. Let's get back to, we'll get away from the life and death stuff. We'll head back to the bike review. And so this bike, um, we're gonna see if it's capable of uh, saving your life if a uh, giant storm rolls in all of a sudden. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. All right, so we are on the Malibu Mini GT, cruising. Again, nice easy pedaling here. This is a cadence system, so you don't have to be pedaling, you know, where you are, but all you have to do is keep those magnets rotating. But I'm pedaling, giving it a little extra juice. So I don't get juice, you know what I mean? Okay. It's getting windy. It's getting pelted by sand. Let's skedaddle, folks. All right. Can't lose our common decency, though, you know? Oh. And we're back on the trail to safety. So, all in all, guys, I think that if you are somebody who's looking at the Malibu GT and you're like, hey, I like those upgrades, but I'm a little bit on the shorter side and I don't need four piston brakes, the Malibu GT Mini could be the right bike to sort of fill that for you. So definitely we'll check them out. I'll have a link to Elux down below, maybe a link to some of our other reviews. Otherwise you can find them on our channel. And guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you got any questions, let me know down in the comments. Love talking to you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.